How's it going guys? Jason with LumaBlade here. And uh, what I want to do, I wanted to extrapolate and expand on my uh, previous video regarding Fusion 360 draft site using CAD programs. And more specifically, the difference between drawing in a two-dimensional program versus a three-dimensional program. Being that I'm in the construction industry, I force myself to learn AutoCAD for designing different structures and things like that, different cabinetry that I needed to build, everything like that to keep up with consumer demands. So I, I had a guy that was way ahead of me in the CAD software that came and kind of showed me the basics that I needed and I sat with it and I learned it. So fast forward that to knives and make it relevant. And everyone knows the difference between two-dimensional and three-dimensional. Um, it's pretty much two-dimensional. Think of it as something flat. All you're doing is you draw a flat a box with another box with another box, another box. None of these depths are shown, the depths of the keys. So anyway, so in three dimension, think of an orbit. So th th this calculator is sitting in orbit. It's rotating. You could rotate it around to design on these different planes and these different axes. So if I said, I don't remember what I said, but if I said this was the top and this is the back, so let's say you want to draw these keys in, you're going to have to go in and select the top plane and then it'll rotate, boom, to the top plane. And then you would detail all these keys in there, okay? And then you would you know you'd extrude them to the height that you want extrude there's a lot of different commands extrude to the height that you want them to be above your base surface I mean that's kind of like my visual explanation of it and that's the confusing part about drawing in 3d is you have this object and it's floating in space and you have to remember I mean the, the machine will tell you but when you're learning it becomes a little bit daunting so I say I draw on the right plane, okay? So I select the right plane. In Fusion 360, it's a, it's a cube in the top right corner. I select the right plane. And the knife rotates, boom, to the right plane. See, I got an R, so that's the right plane. I'll start to draw, I'll sketch the outline. I'll come around, I'll start my x-axis, which is basically in the middle, and then click my line, come back, and then I draw nothing special just the outline curve up come up boom come around and it clicks then what I do is I extrude I extrude the knife extrude means now if I drew it flat like that that means it's paper thin right but in real life this is a quarter inch thick knife you drew it and it's 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 paper thin okay so now what you want to do is you want to extrude it okay so if this is your paper and the papers are going to wind up being your center line. You're going to symmetrically extrude it. So if you have a quarter inch blade, okay, you're going to extrude it equally to both sides to make up your quarter inch. So I think that's 0.125 is what you would do. I drew on the right side. I have extruded it. Now what I have to do is I have to basically create a what's called a construction off an offset line okay so I could define my sketch and so I could have a point that is defined where I can draw in my bevels and I could draw in everything in the three dimensions and I'd want to draw the set the offset on a face so where I want to set it is I want to set it on the back, yeah, I labeled it for back. So I'd rotate the, the model around, and here's the back of the knife. So I'd select this section of the knife. It'll give me a yellowish color, color plane that's offset, okay? So I'll enter negative 5.12, and it'll boom, it'll put it right there, 5.12 from the butt of the knife. I'll be like, all right, cool, I set that. Then what I have to do is I have to define that geometry by adding a planar edge. You hit P for planar edge, and you want to select the right edge and 
the back of that plane that you just created, the back, not the front, the back of it. So you have to rotate it around so you're looking at the back of it and the knife looks just like this and you have to select the back of it. That will create two uh, points here, here, and it'll give you a nice red line. Okay? Then you will go and hit L for line. I'll go over what the quick keys are in another video. and It's, it's so easy. It's ridiculous. Um, then what that does is it gives you a, de a defined area, a point, where it'll snap to. So now we're going to define our bevel that goes up. It's going to have an X. That means it's, it's right in line with your, your offset plane. You're going to start your line. Hold down the middle and curve up with the ball. If That's the kind of mouse you have. And it'll, it'll draw your bevel up. Draw it up all weird, crazy. It doesn't matter how you draw it. Because once you stop that, you're going to go straight over to another function that's going to make this line and this line concentric. It's a concentric function, and I'll explain it in the video. So now it's concentric to the bevel. This is concentric to the bevel. You could grab it, move it up and down, left, right, whatever you want to do. Hit D for dimension. Tap the line you made, tap the bottom edge of the blade, pull to the back. When you pull to the back, it's going to give a drop up box to where you can enter a value. You know, you can enter whatever value you want. Or you could drag it and leave it, however you want to do that. Okay, so once that's done, you're just going to hit escape. You're going to get out of that. Now, this is something that I still don't understand why, but you got to do it. You're going to hit stop sketch. Up in the top right menu, you're going to hit stop sketch. Then you're going to hit L for line. So you're drawing all in the right plane. When you hit L for line, you're going to rotate it around to the front. This is the front plane. Tap the construction uh, offset on the front plane, which is going to indicate that you're drawing on, the, it's letting the computer program know, hey, I'm drawing on the front plane right now. And you'll, you'll see there'll be a little dot here from the top of your bevel. Then you hit P for project. You're going to rotate it a little bit back to the right so you can see. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on what is it called? The bevel intersects your construction offset. Then you're going to rotate it up underside. And there's going to be a, you're going to come around here and there's going to be a highlighted red line. You're going to click right there. Okay. Then you're going to go back to your front reel. Now you're going to see three dots. You're going to see a bevel dot at the top, one on the right, and one on the left. And then you're going to have a bluish color, I think, center line. So all you're going to do is you're going to draw a triangle. You're going to connect the dots. That's all you're going to do. You're going to go from your top right dot that's on the outside, your first one, your first intersection of where you started your, your bevel line to the construction line, to the center line. You're going to come back over to the dot that's on the right side and go straight back up and you're going to connect that triangle. From there you're going to hit what's called a sweep motion. Go back to the knife and you're going to see the triangle that you drew in. You're going to hover the mouse over that and you're going to left click hold down. It's going to bring up a menu that says plane or something else. You're going to pick the second plane down. I'm not sure why you're going to pick the second plane down. I've tried picking the first one but it didn't work so you're going to pick the second plane down. And what that's going to do is it's going to highlight that little triangle here. Okay? And it's the same in the in the dialog box. It's going to say, where do you want to plane it to? Where do you want me where do you want me to sweep this to? This plane. Where do you want me to sweep it to? You want it to sweep to your line that you drew. So you're going to select that and hit OK. It's going to go boom, magic. And you're going to have your nice bevel on this side. This is what's awesome. Do you want to sit there and turn it around, detail it, try to get everything the same, do all that work, or do you want to just press a couple of clicks? This is what's really cool. What you're going to do is you, to select both of them, you're going to click one, it's going to highlight, it's going to be blue, then you're going to hold down control or shift and click the other one. Then you're going to go up to your create drop down menu, you're going to select mirror, a little dialog box is going to pop up that says, you know, two items selected to mirror, and then the second uh, line will say which axis to mirror, which plane to mirror. 
this is another thing that can get you. And it goes back to the right, left, top, you know, bottom, front, back thing. Now listen, you remembered, because I told you that you drew everything on the right, so you know whatever's on the right that you want to mirror, you just want to mirror it to the left. So you're going to select the left axis, okay? And even if you have to rotate the knife around to the little box comes, select the left, you want to select the axis, and it's going to go ahead and automatically bevel both sides, and you're going to have a finished blade, you know. So, you know, that's basically my explanation, my uh, practical and simplified explanation using uh, props, including that silly calculator that I grabbed. I should have grabbed the knife first. There's, there's a lot of different things that it's good for. It's good for showing clients. It's good for CNC work. Because once you got, once you learn this software, and like I said, it's free to download. Once you learn this software, you can easily draw something up and send it out to a CNC shop and have them cut your stuff for you if you didn't want to. Or you can send blanks out to Waterjet and not have to pay the Waterjet guy to render things for you. For me, I like to do everything in-house. I don't like to send things out. I may entertain Waterjet at one point, but I felt it was critical at this point for me to learn the software and I have a long ways to go. NYC CNC with uh, John Saunders, he's helped me tremendously. And if if he ever should watch this channel, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, and I do plan on attending one of your classes. Um, but hopefully that uh, helped, you know, describe to you a better understanding of drawing in 3D. I don't know if it helped. I hope it did. But uh, all right, guys, you have a great day.